Too many travelers, not enough seats. Now the airline needs yours. John Matteries takes us through how to make the most of it so you don't waste your money. Airplanes are as crowded as they've ever been this summer, with flights full, even waiting lists for some routes. As a result, many airlines will pay you to give up your seat. But how much should you ask for? It's tempting. As you're getting ready to board a flight, the gate attendant announces they're overbooked. Please pass out each boarding pass for me. And looking for volunteers to forfeit their seat and take a later flight. But the site ConsumerAffairs.com says airlines are not as generous as they used to be when bumping would get you a free voucher to almost anywhere. It says $750 is the magic number to most flyers where giving up your seat makes sense. That will get you a free trip to almost anywhere in the continental U.S. If you you settle for a $200 voucher, that's barely enough to fly you an hour away. But from the Doesn't That Stink file, not asking enough questions when you give up your seat. Consumer Affairs says always ask when the next flight you can take will depart. If it's already full, that could create a travel nightmare and have you saying, doesn't that stink? Also, ask for a free meal and free hotel room if you have to spend the night. My advice, if you can get to your destination in the next 12 hours or so, giving up your seat can be worth it. Just don't give up too much so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, 9 on your side.